Welcome to a day in the life of a beekeeping entrepreneur, me. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winnie Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living. Now we do reviews as well. Now it is seven o'clock. It is a Saturday and we've got a busy day planned ahead. We've got lots of nuke collections today. We've been sending them out since, oh easy, the beginning of May, dribs and drabs, people come and collect. And as shipping out, we actually now ship nukes out now. That's been a big change uh, to the business and something new to show you in the shop before we start the day. Look at this. Assemble frames. Wired up, ready to go. Supers and deeps. So I think they're on the website now. Bit more expensive to buy them like that than build them yourself, but it saves you a huge amount of time if there's honey coming in and you need it now. Because as long as the bees fill those frames up with honey, then that's paid off in the first year. Not many businesses or things in life that can be paid off straight away. We're quite fortunate, lots of things in Honey is. So, we're looking a bit tidier in here. We had uh, beekeeping training in here last weekend. We got some of the nukes in here already. Now we've got too much ready that I was happy to leave in there because ventilation is key when it comes to bees. Now if we can hear a crazy cat sound, tiny puss, our cat went to the vet yesterday and he's got a big hole in his leg and we've been told to keep him in the shed for a good seven days and he is not happy about it, I tell you. He's absolutely raging. But you know, we don't want him to get ill. So I got more nukes in here. We're gonna move these now this morning into the shed. They've kept nice and cool in here. So get the trolley, bring them in so everything's in the shed. Looking good and tidy, ready for collection. Now these nukes were made or transferred uh, yesterday, yesterday evening into the nukes. So they, they've only been in those boxes basically overnight and the same ones in here so if you're wondering this is the box i like to use and this is the box we actually ship nukes out in this is a thorned box normally they've got a thorn sticker on them there we go that's probably the best transport nuke i've seen very very pleased with them and then this one is a Corex. now this was supplied to me so we sold a few different lines this year most of the lines we did ourselves some of the lines uh, we purchase in from other bee farmers they they make them for us now this this is one of them this is one of the last remaining uh danish queen so uh, an imported danish queen headed nuke uh with the best that you can get really there those queens are, are really good border honey Northumberland honey line. So for my own bees, we've got maybe another 20 odd to shift and then that's it. We'll be out of stock then till probably start of June because we've got new queens. One of the new guys has been totally swapped around uh, with new queens, uh, but I don't sell them until a good four, five, six weeks after the, the successful introduction. So that queen, his daughters, is coming through the system and then only then we sell them. We don't sell them, uh, we don't drop the queen in straight and then sell them straight away. Because, you know, you've got to leave them in there for a couple of weeks to make, make sure everything's right. And for the bees uh, to be, well, not to be related, but you want the queen's daughters to be coming through and working in the hive. Right. Try my best to finish my tea. And I'm going to crack on and bring these nukes in the shed. There 
there we go. They're all in there now. Here we go. Hey, come on. Lights off, shut the door a tiny bit, leave the draft come in here. Yeah. Because that's a big thing with nukes. You do not want them overheating. Not at all. Uh, leave that open, get the air flowing. But I tell you what, these top vents are so important. Because when someone like me, you, you store in nukes overnight, people are coming in the morning, I don't feel like just vents on the side is enough. So if you notice on this Corex, I've actually drilled the roof out. And the bees don't escape through them because it is a temporary box. They're only going to be there temporary. And um, I just feel that that heat has got to go up and it's got to go out the hive. You know, the heat goes up, it doesn't go sideways. So I'm just a lot happy myself with, with vents on the roof. So that's it. I'm going to show you one more thing from the same company. That's apply this, these built frames. And then that's it for a while. I doubt if people want to get filmed when they come and collect nukes. We'll pick up then after uh, the nukes has been delivered. I've got queens come in today. Uh, 10 queens from a breeder called, uh, in Italy called Tenuta via BS Honeybees. Now, if you remember watching my videos uh, last summer, queens with a yellow sticker on their back. Well, they're from Tenuta. BS Honeybees is the agent for them. I really rate their queens. Um, so we got, well, most, I think, eight nukes already uh, empty. We've lost a bit of light there. So we're not going to be long dropping those queens in. But yeah, this is from, it's from a guy called Marie. Marie McGregor, his business up in Scotland, he's a big bee farmer. Now he's got, uh, he works with a, with a big factory up in Europe, I, I, I think. It could be Eastern Europe, I'm not, I'm not really sure. But he gets his kit built over there and then shipped over. Now he has started offering some equipment to bee farmers and, and people who, who buy bulk. So we've got assembled boxes, assembled lids, there's floors in there. Now this, this is a tiny odd, I think there's just uh, five hives on there. Um, I want to see and check them out, use them myself. And um, no doubt the quality is going to be good and uh, we'll order more then and that will be an offering on the website as well so you can buy uh, fully assembled hives if you wanted to as well as the frames but this is a white wood so that's uh, a white wood it's not cedar now that looks like cedar but that's just actually been wax dipped so that's that's why that's a slightly different color but that is a white wood so not to cedar just for everybody to know that I just want to say thank you to the team at Marie uh, or Denbo's Aperies. Free smoker and high pool. Thank you very much. Everybody watches my videos, you know, you give something to a Welshman for free, they will 100% use it. Right, that's that little push done this morning. Pressure's off now. It is roughly 20 past. No one's turned up yet. Half a seven onwards, the collection starts. Lock the dogs up out the way. Go see Tanny Puss. Hopefully queens will be arrived by the time all the collections are finished and we'll go put some queens in. Not the best weather for it, it is raining. And uh, I wanna go around some bees later on as well. I checked one site this week and they were on the brink of starvation. Oh, I didn't have any feed with me, so I swapped out a dry super for a wet one for it. But I want to get down there today and give it some feed. And all of next week, uh, when I'm doing my rounds, I am going to be bringing food with me. Because it's, fun, it's a funnier, there's a lot of hives out there with a fair bit of honey on there. And others then, have just got nothing. So, very, very mixed here. Queens have arrived and all collections are done. 
So, first job, always make sure we check that we've got no losses. anything dead in transit that falls on the supplier but once they're in the hive then that falls on me oh look at these pink queens I don't know if you can see that bees looking good queens looking healthy there that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's the queen on that? Nine, ten. Yeah, queens arrive safely, all alive and well. Time to get these in the nukes. And I'm on one of the nuke yards. This yard after today, probably in high 90 something percent of the queens have been changed around. They're now new season queens. So it is Saturday, is it? The King's Coronation. That's going on now, it's 12 o'clock now, so not most people in the UK are sat at home watching that. And here I am on the bees working. Now, what am I doing here? So, I've got, I think, eight nukes uh, out of here that were sold this week. Um, they've got no queen, so we're gonna go through that hive, cut out any type of queen cell that we find in there, it being developed. Then we're gonna drop in a queen, but we're gonna take the workers out, and we're gonna be using this, like you saw in my previous video, we're gonna be taking the workers out of these cages. So it's just the queen left in there and then we're going to drop those in to the nukes. Leave them there for three days, take them out and then after three days we're going to put a push in cage. Uh, we're going to use these. I found these to be very, very effective. Three days in the, in the travel cage, then put that on and then basically just come back in five to seven days time. And by then the bees have dug the queen out and hopefully she's in there laying well and accepted. So I've had quite a successful uh, percentage rate uh, using the pushing cage and the travel cage. So three days in the travel cage, then five to seven days and uh, uh, a pushing cage. And I've had excellent acceptance rate. I have had a few 100%, but 100% is very rare. You don't tend to get uh, lots of 100% success rate, but anything over 80% uh, I class as very good. All right, uh, this takes uh, a bit of time, so we're gonna take these workers out. So a little trick if you're doing this in the car, if you're not, if you haven't got one of these, then make sure the windows are shut, so if the queen does come out, she can't leave the vehicle. But because I'm doing it like this, my windows are open, and then once the queen is in there safe, I left the bees out and make sure they can fly out because they will poo everywhere at this stage. So they'll stain all the inside here and they'll poo all over the inside of the car. So we're going to try and reduce uh, that as much as possible. So basically what I'm doing, get my hand in this sheriff queen sort of organizer. I'm not sure what it's called, but it is brilliant. Queen cage full of queen, full of one queen and attendants. So that goes in there. Put my hand in, make sure they're tight. And basically, 
and let everybody out. Queen included, if she wants to. If she stays in there, even better. Just tap in the workers gently. Down to just one queen and worker. Everybody's out, the queen is there, she's back in the cage and just slide that shut. There goes bees out there, and there they have it. One queen. Doesn't take much time at all. And very, very safe. You don't want these queens flying off because queens can be expensive. You don't want to lose them when it's your fault. You lose enough down to the bees. Uh, we got 10 queens without workers. We need cocktail sticks. These are just, I don't know, home bargains, Tesco, whatever, just plain cocktail sticks. And that's the problem. Look at that. The poo all over oh god it's gone in the joint this the inside of my car will be the same color as the outside of the car by the end of the season if this keeps happening but that does take i don't know between a minute minute and a half per cage to do 10 queens call it 50 minutes I think that is money well spent because that's all I've got to do is basically just save one queen from being killed or uh, for her to be accepted um, in comparison to her being killed by the bees to cover the labour cost of doing that. So I think it's money well spent and time well spent uh, taking the workers out. Now, I'll show you the system in here. I've written on bricks and I've got grass telling me uh, which hives to visit. So don't get these done, back home for food. And we are looking for stuff like this. Grass, no queen, no queen, no queen, no queen, no queen. Mellow 23, so there's an accepted mellow bees queen in there. Mela 23, no queen, no queen. This one is Northumberland, I think the last one here that needs to be sold, or it is sold. Um, being shipped out this week, I think, there's about four or five of them, and then I think that's me done. These have all had new queens, the pushing cages are currently in there. This one was one we didn't sell, queen sell, second of this month. And right along these lines, we've got mellow queens in these. This one due to come out. Mellow, mellow. This says Alex, so it would be a border honey, but there's grass on top. There's a pushing cage in there. Ah, look how many bees that's left in this hive. There's a pushing cage in there. Right, no queen, so we got to come back to this one. This one, one, two, three, four. We'll take some splits out of this one. This just says good. So in there, that's an F2 buck fast that I haven't sold. Um, but you know, look how much splits I can do from this one. I mean, it's always handy having big hives like that on a nuke yard. These have all been accepted there. They've all got mellow queens in them as well. Right, so I think there's about eight uh nukes here already with no queens we'll drop queen we'll check the flames quickly uh drop the queens in there and we'll do two splits now i'll either 
Well, I'm definitely going to do a split out of this one, take the frame, take the brood off it, and maybe that uh, triple brood and the because that's been sold this week. There'll be too much bees uh, left over, so might as well take a split out of them now. So, that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm aware this video is becoming a long one, so we're not gonna show more than one. So we're left with a split. So this was obviously a strong double brood. I've got loads of bees in here to make a split. Bit ratty, obviously queenless. My happy solace. Three pumps to turn that on. Now this happy solace has been brilliant for nuke work. Really, really pleased with it. We actually sell that as well. We're one of the main UK stockers for it. And there's that Marie Hive tool they had for free. These bees are only sold this week. I can't remember what day, it might have even been yesterday. No, this was start of the week, so we've got queen cells. So that's that's what we're looking for. See those queen cells there? Queen cells there, queen cells there. Very important we get all these out. So we're gonna shake the frame, make sure we don't miss a miss a cell. And they're just gonna crush them all. You can either take them out, crush them, it don't matter. As long as you sort them out. Another one there. Yeah, so this nuke was sold start the week. Which makes this easier now so we can actually see the queen cells. Missing a queen cell is enough for the bees just not to accept the new queen. So very, very important. You check thoroughly. If you're wondering some of these frames open a bit, obviously I sell the best ones with the nuke. As long as I'm left with some brood left over for me, that's enough. But the priority is always that the nuke goes off with the best frames. Good. always like to drop the queen in the middle oh, I don't keep the queens on me when I'm doing this job because otherwise there'd be loads of bees flying on the queens so I do keep them in the truck and I just walk back and forth One cocktail stick, one queen, there she is. I thought the ear was red, not pink.
bit of fresh glass cross this out and we're just going to write cage so now in three days time I'm just looking for fresh glass and cage and that's it so that's all I'm going to film down here now because I really want to get a move on uh, show you here yeah, now I'm not going to repeat the process of doing the same thing nine more times uh, that's what I'm doing and hopefully I'll be back for food so I'll catch you after lunch uh, back at base we've just had food now I'm going to go down to one site the one night that I just set up recently and one of them one of those hives are very low on stores now because they were nukes going into full size hives they haven't managed to make that much honey during the warm weather and they've been eating more than they've been eating more than they've been able to get in so we're going to go down there feed them then see what the weather's doing it is starting to drizzle a little bit now we need to get some nukes into transport boxes ready for more collections in the morning so this is what i'm doing with these vented boxes i feel that they need a lot more ventilation so we just do three rows so we do that leave a bit there because we duct tape this shut don't really any kind of cordex box make sure they have Falling off in there. Alright, same again. Now that's what I mean. That bit of plastic hasn't fallen through there, so you just got to get a hive tool, just stick it in there, and then there's a piece of plastic just falls off and it opens the vent perfectly. Always check that before you put bees in car boxes. Right, we've got a bit of fondant with some pollen and we've got several trays. These two will fill up on the way back. I think there's two nukes that I've got to do here as well, so I think four in total tomorrow. And then another three or four for Monday again. And I haven't thought further than that yet. So, time is really getting on. I need to get a move on. All right, so this one caught my eye last time. But the amount of dead bees on the floor outside. And you may think, oh, that's CPPV. And it could be, but it's not. So I swapped the dry super for a wet one. And they're up there. Clean in the boxes. So we can see by the flames just how dry everything is here. I mean, look at it bone dry. Nothing to eat. So, some hives are thriving, others are starving. Now normally, I'd never feed bees set up with the super on. But I've got no choice with this one. It's early in the season. The honey won't be coming off this site till September. So I'm just gonna give them literally just two kilos. Otherwise, if it rains this week, I'm gonna lose these bees. Because if they had some kind of food and they were low, then fondant would be ideal, but they've just got nothing in there. They'll eat all this, they're not going to store any of it. But uh, unless I'm going to continue to lose bees in there, this is the only thing I can do to save them. So I'll just puncture in the holes. And that's it. The rest of them here are pretty good. Right, back to sort nukes out. And look at the difference here. 
just a couple of hives down, we're just checking supers. Bees are up in this super, they're up in that super, and look at them bringing that honey in. It's just with starvation, you've got to be so careful with it. Because once that kicks in and you think, oh, they've got good weather, they'll be fine. They haven't got the energy to go out and bring new nectar in. So you literally have to feed it. Otherwise, you're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. So now that hive there is literally probably two days away from dying. That close to it. Oh, what a season so far. All right, down here. And we're taking nukes from mm -hmm. these hives. These have been put in a full size mm -hmm. hives just to stop the bees from swarming. And there's more bees here than uh, what we need. So we're going to make the nukes up just at the right strength uh, for transport. Uh, that's what's one good thing about when you've got more frames to choose from. You can make the nuke exactly like you want it. Enough stores, enough brood, enough bees, that type of thing. And then the leftover frames are being compressed into one hive and then that hive will be given a queen so none of the brood or the bees are going to go to waste nice strong nuke customer be very happy with this now just a note if i was going to send that in the post there'd be a bit less bees in there Alright, back at base. Now, I just said Tandy Post has escaped out the shed and he's now locked in the shop. Yeah, into a cool, dark shed. He is not happy. Escape. He escaped on me there. But I had I got him. He had an abscess there. But he's supposed to be indoors for two weeks because he's not supposed to lick that wound. But that's going to be a job in England, lad. I don't think he's going to manage two weeks inside. He's escaped already. Yeah, we good bud. He is our favourite cat. And looking down here, Fleer is in the trampoline for the first time. Hello. Are we doing it here? Save me! Nah. My name is Seth, I'm four. Uh, I, I'm four. I'm four. I'm four. And Fleer is seven months. Huh? Right, one more job. I say one more job, I say loads of jobs. I've got two more nukes to put into transport boxes. And that's it. Hey, spies. I've got two more nukes to put in the transport boxes and that's it for the bee work for today. Then I've got to edit this video for it to go out tomorrow on the Sunday. So this, this week is super fast production. Filming today, out tomorrow. And uh, Angara wants to go food shopping as well. So we'll see if I can fit it in as well. Right, let's go. Just checking the sheep. We haven't done that today yet. 
looking a bit green there you know the grass has been very very slow growing spring's been quite a wet and cold one so far so we have opted to feed in the lambs so they get something a little bit extra because they weren't putting weight on really So that means fill in. Yeah, these sheep they've had a tough time this spring. Since coming out the shed, it's constantly rained on them. But things are starting to go a bit greener. And we may move them tomorrow around the other block. Kids need a bit of exercise. So I've sent them all the way down there to check if there's any sheep there. I know for a fact there's no sheep down there. But I've run all the way down there and back up. We'll do them good today, I think. And they'll do me good as well. Divina! Divina! Oh, hello, Minda! So, we've got a few more orders this year for big bales uh, silage. Uh, we never sold big bales before, but we sold a fair few last year. So, we're going to move the sheep this week. A few of these sheep need dug in. A few of the lambs are ready to get sold. And then we're going to close two fields off here and do silage on this block as well as the nine acres in the village and uh, that should bring us up to a good number to have plenty to sell and for us to use ourselves Ooh, someone's not happy we'll catch you later look at the rapid spring growth how tall that stuff grows instantly that spring growth grows so fast I wish the fields grew as fast as the roadside verges. Here we are on another apiary. Two of these nukes into this nuke. Job done. Now if you notice I do try and change my hive tool from apiary to apiary. Good for disease prevention. Unless you've got a sword of crystals bucket with you, then you can just keep washing it. Right. Getting tired now. Still plenty to do. Six o'clock, 
we'll call it a day for outside work. Now, of course, I've got to edit this video. Okay. Take my drill, charge that up. And he's charging every, or every, I don't know, four days, something like that. Probably lose his charge a bit. I might have to be soulless. Smoker, I'm gonna charge that up. The charge on that is pretty good. Probably, probably once a week I charge it. Don't use it on all the aprons, but I do use it on most of my new work. Oh, take Fleer out of there. The struggles of beekeeping, being a dad, car seats, bee suit, tools, jack, tools all in the front, bee boxes and supers and everything in the back. The struggle is real, I tell you. She is asleep, so I will go back in the shop and close this video down. Okay. Back where we started today. Four nukes there ready for the morning. Now, you don't ideally want to lock nukes in for long periods of time. Now I know the strength of these and I know they're going to be fine in here. It's a cool, dark room when the lights are off and there's nothing in here to overheat the bees. Now if I would have post these out, these would have probably gone at two o'clock today so they would have been in basically for at least four or five hours extra. They're being picked up in the morning and then they're obviously gonna be out. So that is fine, bees can cope with that, no problem. You don't wanna be keeping bees in for any uh, longer period of time. But to mimic the time on the postal service, that's okay, so that's what we tend to do. Because collections tomorrow at half past seven, there's just no time to get bees ready uh, at that time. So we, we do it now. Right there, Freya, have you got anything else to say? Or is that the end of a day in the life of a beekeeping entrepreneur, May? Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload this every week. Thanks for watching.